Hey guys, what it do? It's your boy Supreme Chief the God. Make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, today we are talking about Utah Okoto and the three reasons why I think he will survive. Uh, well, three, it might be more, but the reasons why I think he must survive in the story. Um, I think for one, I think it's it's a red herring, almost, that I think, you know, Gege decided to say, listen, he, you know, there's no real logistics behind what is happening because it's unprecedented what utah is doing is unprecedented he's using two techniques that do two crazy different things that makes it weird to figure out what kind of outcome will happen but the fact that rika is holding um utah like that and his body is stitched up i believe that utah will return in that body um but he'll probably lose rika in return uh i don't know why i think that necessarily but i think it will do it, it, it has to do something with the soul either that uh actually i do have a theory i, th I do think that sukuna will probably eat rika because uh, i think rika will pull up to the battlefield and sukuna will get a power boost from it but, but then that doesn't really make sense why bring back gold just for that i don't know we'll figure it out but um let me let me stick to topic it's very hard to stick to topic right now uh but yeah i think utah will come back because of that. i think that you know after the timer because we know that um we know that what's his name kenjaku when he switched bodies he he basically became that person he was no longer his own body really apart from he still has his technique his gravity technique so he should he should still be able to use that regardless so Utah already used a technique to that with, with that has a limit to go into another body right but once he goes into that other body i think that transfer is permanent right and then in order for him to return to his other body, he's going to have to activate Rika again and consciously bring his body back. I think he just hasn't, he's obviously, he's, it's better of using Gojo's body. And that was the only way he, he had time for his other body to get fixed so that he can survive. But I think that's the case. Um, I think he's going to stay in this body. And if not, I think his body, his mind or his soul will be rejected and pushed back into his own soul. Uh, but I don't see him dying from this from like this the whole um uh body switching ordeal right uh another reason i think that he must survive is because of gojo's dream of fostering strong allies um if that if that doesn't come true then sukuna's ideal wins and i know jjk is super dark unless sukuna wins the whole thing i don't think sukuna's ideals will win I think Gojo's ideal will win. And I think that's why he's so pivotal to the story. He's the reason why Yuji is alive. He's the reason why Yuta is alive. He's the reason why, you know, so Megumi is, is alive or was alive. Or, you know what I'm saying? He's the reason why so many things happen. He's the reason for main cast being so strong. He's, he's the reason for so many things. He plays way too important of a role in the story for his goal and his ideal of fostering strong relation strong uh allies not to come into fruition and uh, the only way that that could happen is that some of these motherfucking allies gotta survive right if all of them die then what's the point right so obviously some of these guys have to survive and i think obviously they will survive um and i think one of those people that will survive is utah because he's one of the people that gojo placed all of his his eggs on all his bets on he really believed in utah um obviously he also believed in yuji itadori himself quite heavily uh yuta and yuji were the only two people that saw gojo as a person beyond him being powerful uh so i think they played the most pivotal and most important role in realizing gojo's dream because they are the people that saw beyond his power and saw gojo satoru the person or satoru gojo the person and i think that's the beauty of it here and I think it's poetic justice for the two kids that saw Gojo as a human become monsters in order to save Gojo. But they do it as a team. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and that's the whole point because Gojo was never against people becoming, you know, monsters. Uh, he didn't want his kids to, to do it, obviously. He didn't want his kids to see that side of him. Um, but simultaneously, he wasn't opposed to it. Uh, like Maki massacred the Zenin and Gojo didn't give a shit you know what i'm saying so um it wasn't even brought up because he just didn't care uh in fact none of the students cared that 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 mackie did that so they're all somewhat okay 
with monstrous activities if they feel it is justified. And obviously, in this case, against Sukuna, any and everything is justified, right? You just got to do what you got to do to defeat this monster. Another reason why I don't think he will die is because Rika. I think Rika will either sacrifice herself uh, if she doesn't get eaten by 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 Sukuna. I hope, like I don't know why that's just in my head, but if she doesn't if she doesn't get eaten by by Sukuna, uh, but I think sacrifice herself, do a binding vow, do something in order to make sure Yuta survives. Um, I think that's probably going to happen. Uh, I also think that just Yuta's arc, uh, his story. Although you can say Kenjaku's arc and story didn't finish. But um, I just feel like he's too important. He was the original MC, so I feel like it'd be good for the original MC to to carry, you know, to stay on, even though he might not be the strongest anymore by the end of the series, because currently he's easily the strongest on the good guy side, uh, with Sukuna obviously being the strongest. Um, yeah, I just feel like he has a lot to offer. I think his his abilities cater to teamwork. Uh, I think also him being in Gojo's body, he's going to know how Gojo um f- you know fixed his his uh his burnt out curse energy and i think that is something that he might be able to use with his real body uh and i think with his real body if he has that i think he might even f- with in him fighting sukuna and all these binding vows he also might figure out how to extend his limit his time his time limit right what if during this fight just in the last second Utah does a binding vow and says to not be able to return my body or for the lot for for the trading of rika my my lev- my my uh my i get a boost in my domain expansion right a permanent boost f- for his domain expansion in that body or he gets a, a boost in something else to get me so there's there's so many ways he can utilize it because he has a lot more to give than even sukuna right now he has so much more to give in binding vows than even sukuna so i feel like he is he is he's he's the best at 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 um at at ceiling take I don't want to say ceiling techniques I got them burial techniques he he he's he is the most versatile versatile kid and he's so useful and we need to see three motherfuckers jump this guy that are, for, are all the kids we need I mean we did but we need to see like Toto Utah Maki um Yuji and Hakari that bum ass mug been fighting that ice lady for 99 years. When you see all of them jump this mug, bro, I need to see this teamwork really pull off. But these are my reasons and why I think that Utah will survive and won't die. Uh, you know. But what you guys think? You guys think I'm tripping? Am I coping? You know, Utah is my favorite character, so am I just coping heavy, or am I spitting facts? So let me know in the comment section below. It's been your boy Supreme Chair to God. Make sure you leave like, comment, and subscribe. I'm out.